right, we well, welcome back. Before we get started, then let's let's congregations together as a collective and do a breathing exercise. This is practice in privacy that you can do so that you can understand what it feels like to separate feelings and emotions from facts and reality and logic. You see, warriors, did, what narcissists aren't capable of is, is knowing how to separate the two. So they lead you to believe. You see, they clearly didn't have that reality, but by age 14, you understand they are fully aware of their behavior. Narcissists are fully aware of their behavior. And you know this because when they begin to lie, cheat, and steal, that ability to understand the need to hide it means they have the intellectual capacity to understand what they're doing. Never allow people into your circle that don't have something to lose. And the greatest thing is a moral compass. You see, these kind of people borrow stuff and can't afford to replace it. Solid people can borrow stuff and if they break it, they replace it. You know the difference. Don't wait until a narcissist breaks it off in you. You see, once you start believing what you're seeing, you're going to minimize your risk. And it first starts with doing a badass breathing exercise to stop being compelled to make decisions on temporary feelings. Five seconds. Five seconds. Let's do this. Release slowly. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, eyes up here, eyes up here. Y'all need to be looking at my new news. <laughs> hey, look. <coughs> I got a loop interrupter for y'all. Heard a joke. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? I'm waiting. Okay, look, 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 before I lose it. Did, did you, have you actually given any consideration that narcissists are terrified of you because you actually cause them to want to change? If not, but for a moment, you impacted them to feel a certain kind of way and you made it feel ever so delicious with direction. This is the authority you have. Narcissists actually fear how you make them feel because truly deep down inside they want to surrender. And when you are able to do this, I had a friend of mine tell me one time, he said, Chico, check this out. You're the only one I know that can call a dumbass a dumbass. And they'll leave with a huge smile, feel pumped up, still pissed, kind of, 
and leave with a hug, but yet inspired. You see, warriors, this is what narcissists fear, is the fact that you know truly what it is to kill them with kindness. It's like a slow song. Warriors, check this out. When you start believing what you're seeing, you're going to start to challenge what you're hearing. Because you, it's what you're listening to is what you're falling for, because it's exactly what you've been wanting to hear, and you deprived your other sense, uh, which completely got you to lose your senses. You see, it, it, once you start believing what you're seeing, then you'll start seeing how people, narcissists, people with those traits anyway, how they start to express their resentment and not being able to control you, which is why they start with challenging your boundaries, testing how, how far will your dirty go. You know what I'm saying? How much, where, where does your freaky take you? And can I oblige just so I can have some dirty on you later? Because you, you one day might try to profess that you're better than me and I got to have some dirt on you. I know your secrets. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> yeah, 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 look. Narcissists will quickly show their disdain for you. They're not going to be able to hold it back. And this is something that they're not going to be able to recover from. Too much has been seen. Too much has been heard. And too many dots have been connected. You see, an empath, their main trait, they live to be of service, in service of. That's your codependent nurturing need, whether it be a man or a woman. Lose, lose, lose that bias right now. And the thing is, an empath sees you, notices you. That's the only way an empath can truly be of service, is to understand what your needs are. How can I help you? What can I do for you? And understand something. This is the only thing that can be used to see and notice to become relevant. Narcissist's main trait is who they can command because they are wanting to be serviced. So their number one trait is they will never see you or anyone other than themselves being serviced. So everyone else to them is of service. It sounds like this in their mind, what's in it for me? So how they treat people when they think no one is observing or looking is what matters most in their natural element. Because look, you either have a true nature of kindness and respectful cooperation that you, that, that, and some sort of moral compass that you hold yourself to then understand something the opposite is the con because they'll portray themselves to be of like kind that is the danger in narcissism and why you need to be aware of their self aware and dangers now the dangers in them becoming exposed and trying to shut you up that level of desperation is like an outer body experience to a narcissist. Now, anytime a narcissist is living in this survival mode, which is through that lens of what's in it for me, people start to catch on. And they start to realize 
that this person has no, nothing to offer to reciprocate enough to matter. You see, narcissists do it to themselves when they become community property. They reach a level of not giving a damn to become everybody's nobody. Now, understand, you will be hoovered, you are remembered, and you are despised for being relevant, for truly being able to provide society, if anything, wisdom, leadership, discernment, and respectful cooperation. Warriors people will gravitate towards you, and narcissists would have a wet dream if they could be in your shoes but for a day. I know this because I've actually heard them say the quiet part out loud to each other. Hey man, check this out. Let's go through this. Drunk, stoner, stupid. Drunk, stoner, stupid. Always wants to do stuff. Especially if you're the one banking it. Treats pickup game like a professional sport. Damn. I have to slow down on that. I said, hey, you know what? Because I, I, I had a flashback. I recollect that. I, I recollect it. Makes Facebook status someone's name while searching for them. Can and will complain about anything. You know who them folks are? Always offended. It's a wonder they allowed you to breathe the same air in the same room. Hell, the planet, for that matter. That's terrible comebacks. <laughs> yeah, it usually ends like this. Well, your mama. Your mama. <laughs> if it ends with toddler-like insults, understand, they're showing you their IQ. Could network at a funeral. Best place to pick up chicks. <laughs> Thinks they're the funniest person in the room. Dang it, man. Thinks they would slay at being president. Says they literally failed that test and gets a 98. has ruined countless lives. Has a flexibility of a 70 year old man. <laughs> Dang it, man. All right, so let's check out this gorgeous cookie. Adventure can be a real happiness. Embrace this new change, this new lifestyle, and get out and experience this new world alone first. I need you to fill your treasure chest first with those new, new experiences. No, not these new news. My eyes are up here. Fill your treasure chest with new memories, and little by little, you will soon realize, realize how you just kicked the trauma bond and rumination's ass to the curb. It's 
all you can think about is this new exciting lifestyle. Soon, subconsciously, your mind is going to be starving for adventure, for exploration. Warriors, adventure can be a real happiness. Experience it first. Warriors, thanks for your support. And look, don't forget to subscriptions. Subscriptions, come on. And, and when you can, join. Join the tribe. Come on, man. Hey, look, for real, for real. You're saving me. Listen to me. Stop what you're doing. Look at me. If you join or, or make contrib contributions to the PayPal when you hit the, the link that says more, <laughs> boom, all these links pop up. You can schedule a calling call, a, a coaching call, and everything. Uh, but more than anything, with your support, it's keeping me from having to sell my man berries on Only Fools. And I thank you for that. I thank you a lot because I cherish my virtuous man berries. And y'all are awesome for your support. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Spanish. Thank you very much. Les mando bendiciones. Blessings. It's never goodbye, boy.